8 to the power of t is equal to t to the power of 12. This is another example of a transcendental equation. And one of the ways you can solve this is to um, express 8 as 2 to the power of 3 t, which is equal to t to the power of 12. All right, so because 2 to the power of 3 is 8, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, okay? All right, so what you want to do in this case, you can rewrite this equation as 2 to the power of 3, t. On the right-hand side, you can also write 12 as 3 times 4. So we can actually reduce this equation by cancelling out 3 from the both powers. And we are left with 2 to the power of t is equal to t to the power of 4. I did that to break down this equation so that we can solve it easily. So what you want to do, we will now want to group the numbers and the letters separately, okay? So 2 and 4 should be on one side, t and t should be on the other side. So to do that, what you simply do is multiply both sides by the inverse of the powers of the powers that's what you want to do okay so what i mean is this you're going to get two to the power of t is what we have in the bracket so you multiply by the inverse of the of t and the inverse of four all right and then on the right hand side which we have t to the power of four right we multiply by the inverse of four which is one over four and the inverse of t the same t we did to the left that's what we do to the right so when we break it down we see that t can easily cancel out t what we let what we are left with on this side is two to the power of what one over four okay is equal to on the right hand side four we cancel out four and what we we're left with is going to be t to the power of one over t so we want to write two to the power of one over four as a form of t to the power of one over t so let's just say t to the power of 1 over t on the left and bring this to the right hand side same thing so what you want to do is to increase 2 and find a way to write 4 and 2 to be equal so what you can do is you can take the square of 2 and then bring out the inverse on the outside because 2 cancels out 2 then multiply it by 1 over 4 okay we're trying to increase this so 2 to the power of 2 is what 4 on, in the bracket outside, we have 1 over 2 times 1 over 4 is going to be 1 over 8, right? We don't, we still don't have it equal yet, okay? t to the power of 1 over 4 is still not working because 4 and 8 are not the same. So increase 4 again, that will be 4 squared. Okay, when we do that, you cannot bring out 1 over 2 again times 1 over 8, all right? 4 squared, let's evaluate the bracket. We would get 16, all right? And then... On, on the outside, 1 over 2 times 1 over 6, 8 is going to be 1 over 16. You see, we've gotten the answer. This implies that t to the power of 1 over t is equal to 16 to the power of 1 over 16. Simple. You cannot see that t is equal to 16. When you substitute 16 into the original equation, let's do a quick check by the side here. And then let's confirm if our answer, let's check if t is equal to 16 let's evaluate this all right to do that all we can simply do is to substitute 16 in place of t so this becomes 8 to the power of 16 on the left hand side all right let's evaluate the left hand side let's break it down to 8 is what 2 to the power of 3 times 16 and that gives us 2 to the power of 2 3 times 16 gives us what 48 all right so let's we've gotten the left hand side like the right hand side which is t to the power of 12 let's put in 16 there so we get 16 to the power of 12. let's break this down 16 is 2 to the power of 4 and then multiply it by 12 and that gives us 2 to the power of 4 times 12 is what 48 you see 2 to the power of 48 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 48 so that means our answer is correct t is equal to 16 all right thank you for checking out the video i hope you got the gist and i'll see you in the next one